Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ and today I'm going to talk about the updates to the Bumped app version 1.0. And so if any of you guys have watched my videos in the past, I do a lot of videos talking about cashback apps. And there are a few very niche apps, which I called stockback apps. And essentially what stockback apps are, are apps that allow you to not only just receive cash back from some of your purchases at specific stores, but that cash was actually used to purchase stock. And so I call that a stockback app. Now, one of my favorite stockback apps, or I just consider it one of my favorite cashback apps, Ever was the bumped app. Now with the bumped app, whenever you made a purchase, whether it's online or in a store, if it fell into one of 10 specific categories, and out of those 10 specific categories, you're allowed to pick one store per category. So for instance, if I wanted to have fast food, Chipotle was the option that I chose as my store. If I wanted to buy gas, Shell was one of the options that I chose. And the only option that I had in the warehouse shopping category was Sam's Club. And so these are just a few examples of the stores that I would shop at on a regular basis. And whenever I made a purchase at Shell or Starbucks or Sam's Club or Chipotle, whenever I made a purchase, I would get half a percent back as cashback in the Bumped app. And that cashback was used to either buy the stock of the company that I was actually making the purchase from or buying stock into VTI, which is the total stock market index fund provided by Vanguard. And the reason this was one of my favorite apps as far as cashback, one is because it was automatic. When I made a purchase, no matter how much it was at that specific store, I knew that I was getting half a percent cash back and that money was going to be used to purchase stock. However, I think Bumped has made a grave mistake, or at least for those people who found this specific app very useful for one, being automatic. You didn't have to think about it. Once you connected your credit card and you made a purchase at those specific stores, you would automatically get that cash back. But now what they've done is they've made it more of a short term and it's not automatic. And I'll go into more details about what has changed, what you have to do now to get stock back, and why now this 1.0 version of Bumped is actually not better than the previous version of Bumped. And so first is the card network that they use to recognize your purchases. If I remember correctly, they previously used Plaid. I know that Plaid was recently in the past couple of months, they were acquired by Visa. So I'm not sure if this had anything to do with it. And it could be that the fees that Plaid charges may have changed when Visa bought them, or maybe that the fees that they charge for recognizing transactions is higher than what they wanna pay. And so they've switched from Plaid or to whatever they used before, I'm pretty sure it was Plaid. And now they use Rakuten's card link network, which is called Arclon, R-C-L-O-N. And because they use Arclon or Rakuten's card link network, Network, that means you can't stack your cash back with the Rakuten app or any other app that uses Rakuten's network. And so a few examples of companies that use that network, or of course Rakuten, you know, it's their company. And then you have apps like Swagbucks, and then you have Alaska Airlines and United Airlines mileage program. And so if you're part of any of those programs or the Swagbucks app, it means that if you have your card linked to one of those programs, and you make a purchase at a specific store that's available with the bumped app in order to receive cash back, you can't stack it with those apps. And so that puts a limitation on the amount of apps that you can stack at a particular store when you wanna get cash back from multiple apps. And so if you've seen my cash back stacking strategy playlist, I used bumped in a lot of my cash back stacking strategies because one, it was automatic, and then two, it didn't interfere with any of the other cashback programs that you might have wanted to stack with. And so another company that's very similar to the way Bumped used to do theirs is the Bits of Stock app. But with Bits of Stock, even with the updates that they made to their program, and I'll do a separate video to talk about the updates to the Bits of Stock app, they still allow you to get automatic cashback and they also allow you to get cash back on specific purchases or by going through their app to make the purchase. And so all of the purchases that you make, if you want to earn cash back or stock back within the bumped app, you have to either make the purchase if it's an online purchase by going through the bumped app first, or if it's an in-store purchase, you have to activate whatever the offer is within the bumped app. And those activations for in-store purchases, they're only active for 30 days. And I'm assuming those 
will probably change over time. And so if you activate something today with a particular store that you shop at, after 30 days, you'll have to reactivate it again if it's a store that you shop at all the time. But it doesn't necessarily mean that after 30 days, that store will still be available or that offer will be the same 30 days from now. But not only that, and this is what made it very unattractive for me, especially being a user over the past year while it was in beta mode, is that many of the stores that I had selected out of my 10 categories, they're not even available anymore. In fact, seven out of the 10 stores that were available previously in the Bumped app, they are no longer available even as an online option or as a temporary 30-day option that you can activate. And so those seven specific stores were Starbucks, Olive Garden, Chipotle, Shell, Willamette Valley Vineyards, which I never used that anyway, so it didn't matter. And in addition to that, not only are those specific stores, the ones that I selected out of my 10 categories, not available, no gas option is available. None of the restaurants that were that I had the option to choose from are actually still available. And so they have really reduced at least some of the stores that worked well for me. And while I didn't have the option to shop at Amazon or Costco previously during the beta mode of the app, I saw that many people online actually had that as an option. And I know that when I spoke to customer service months ago, probably over a year ago, when I was first asking about, you know, why was Costco not available? Why was Amazon not available to me while it was available to other users? They said, you know, because they're in beta mode, they're just testing out different stores with different people based on their location. And so I was like, okay, cool. You know, once they're out of beta mode, then maybe I'll have an option to choose Amazon and to choose Costco stores that I shop at more often than what was available to me personally in the app. And now that they've actually made it available to the general public, they've actually completely changed the way that they do the app and those stores still aren't available to me. However, one good thing, or I guess semi good thing that they did change is that those specific stocks are available to me as far as where I can put my cash back or my stock back when I do earn, or if I choose to earn any cash back with this app. And so the way that they do cash back now is that instead of earning cash back just for that specific store or getting stock in that specific company, there are actually five options that you have. Now, the main option you have, which is what I actually do like about the app, is that when you earn cash back, you can earn cash back in the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund, ticker symbol VTI. And then what they did is that they allowed you to choose four specific companies that you actually want to invest your cash back in. And so if I shop at Sam's Club, although I can shop at Sam's Club, I can actually earn my cash back in Costco stock or Amazon stock or Netflix or any of the other stocks that are available for me to choose from. And so the four specific companies that I choose from because everyone is gonna have VTI as an option or it's gonna be one of the stocks that you can invest in. The other four that I chose were Netflix, Apple, Zoom, and Verizon. Now I chose these four specific companies because these are four companies that I do think that are gonna be very important for the future. While I'd be happy with investing in just VTI as the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund, that way you don't feel like you have to pick individual stocks but you do have the option and you can invest in all five of these. You can invest in the total stock market index fund. And then you have four other options that you can choose. Amazon is another option, Costco, Walmart, which owns Sam's Club and a few other options. I'm not gonna go into details about all of the stocks that you can choose from, but that is one of the changes that I actually do like about Bump 1.0. And so while some of the categories that I never even made purchases in in the past, like I mentioned Willamette Valley Vineyards, and I also don't pay for Netflix or Spotify or any of those apps. And so there was a category which allowed you to choose a, a media option for subscriptions. And I didn't make any money off of that either, or my cash back didn't go towards any of those products because I don't spend money on those. And so those some of those categories were pointless for me personally, but for many other people, they're very popular, especially if you have a subscription and you're paying for Netflix every month, you're paying for Spotify every month, you were maybe in the past going to the movies and you would spend money with Fandango to go out and see a movie. Of course, people aren't doing that as much 
now as they did in the past because of the pandemic. But a lot of those options, I didn't actually make money with in the past anyway. And so the thought of at least, you know, when I was checking out their website, when they're talking about the changes that they're going to make, I was thinking that you're going to be able to make purchases at all of the stores that were available in all of the categories. But a lot of those stores aren't even available anymore, or at least not currently available within the app. So it was very disappointing once I actually made the update to the app. And now this is the only option you have to choose from is whatever in-store options that they have that are 30 day short term options or whatever options are online store purchases. And many of the stores that are currently available in the app are not stores that I shop at. And so if I have the option of choosing between going into the bumped app and choosing one of their short term options or even some of their online options, I can probably find similar or better options within the Rakuten app, which is the same network they're going to use. And so if I had to choose between the two, I might as well just go straight to Rakuten and use their app. I'm sure that's something that they would probably prefer, but also other apps that are very similar to where you have to actually use the app to earn your cash back, like the drop app or the Dash app with some of the specific stores from there. Although you can get automatic cash back from some of the in-store purchases with that app. And there are many other apps just like that where you have to actually go in the app, make the purchase on your phone or on their website in order to earn that cash back. And so I was really looking forward to this update and to me it was very disappointing. And so if you are a user of the Bumped app and you previously used the Bumped app, let us know what you think about. Did you prefer the old way of getting cash back or earning stock cash back with the app? Or how do you actually like the newer version of earning cash back? And so if you're new to the Bumped app, you never heard about it before, make sure you check out my review video where I talk about the old way of how they actually earned cash back and gave you stock back. And then also take a look at this video again, and then it'll probably make more sense what the differences are between the old Bumped app and the new Bumped app. All right, so thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.